the most topic I get requested to ask or ask to talk about on Periscope either through email or through comments is Kev, did you see Leandria? Kev, talk about Leandria. Kev, what did Leandria do? Kev, did you hear about Leandria? Kev, Leandria, Leandria, Leandria. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you why I don't talk about her, okay? Now, let me backtrack. On a couple of occasions on my YouTube, Leandria Johnson won Sunday's Best a couple years ago. She's a gospel singer and pastor. And um, she is always a lightning rod, okay? Now, there have been times I have discussed it on my YouTube page. Uh, most infamously, Titty Been Dry. She had a message, and she was saying that you got to let some of those people who've been sucking the life out of you go. They like, she's like, they bre you breastfeeding adults and titty been dry. You ain't gonna be able to breastfeed no adult cause the titty been dry. And I died. So if you wanna see that, type in Leandra Johnson, titty been dry on my YouTube page and you will find titty been dry. I have no problem talking about titty been dry. Cause I died, I made a titty been dry shirt at War of the Stellars a couple years ago and I threw it away. I only wore it for one day and I threw it away. But yeah, so I, and that I had no problem. Then there was another time she was uh, witnessing, she was handing out cigarettes. She was either handing out cigarettes or smoking cigarettes with people and she was witnessing it. And that was all like an uproar. People were really mad about that. And I talked about that on my YouTube page. But lately she's been having, I'm just gonna say antics. Cause I actually haven't seen any of this stuff, but y'all have sent me screenshots, y'all have shared and I haven't watched. And I'm gonna tell you why. Here's how I feel. I've never met Leandra. She seems like a beautiful person. The reason I don't talk about what the saint, what upsets the saints about her is because I extend the same grace that I may need one day. Okay, that's really what it comes down to. I feel like sometimes as Christians, we become the people who are circling the adulterous woman with rocks in our hands. Like, get her, get her, get her. I, she's doing wrong. It's visible. I can see her sin. Let's do a rock. And Jesus is sitting there with his hand in the ground, drawn on the uh, in the sand, saying, "Let's he who is without sin cast the first stone." The only difference between Leandria and Kev on stage is y'all don't see my sin. Y'all are under the impression that I am without fault, and y'all just don't know. I need the same amount of grace that, that we don't want to extend to her. Well, she's a pastor. Well, she should. And, and what about you? And what is you? And who is you? Well, they need, well, they, and what about you? And what about you? And what about what you do? I'm a mess too. That's right, Luke. I'm a mess too. So who are me to judge? And I don't know. Every, when when gospel su singers be having nudes leaked, people, Kev, talk about it. They're supposed to be spreading the gospel. And so am I. And so am I. I'm supposed to be spreading the gospel too. And y'all, my nudes just ain't leaked. I sent my nudes to my wife. Nudes been sent. Did she ask for them? Absolutely not. But I sent them. Nudes been leaked. Huh? I've been sent my nudes. I don't know how the cloud works. But if you see me one day, who I want y'all to extend me the same grace. See, people want to attack her and other people like they are without sin. No, I'm not going to do that. Now, if there's a specific thing that I can make light of, but I'm not a malicious person. I'm not a malicious person. So if somebody is simming down, I'm not going to just jump on you just because everybody else is. Because I don't know, I might get dumb. I might have, I might lose a family member and get drunk on Periscope one day and lose my mind. And I want the, I want the same grace to be extended for me. That's why I, 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 don't, I don't want my comedy to be malicious. I want my comedy to be light and fun. And I'm not going to be calling out people because then when it's my turn to get called out, I cannot expect grace. And I may not get grace regardless. Okay, I may not get the grace that I, I desire regardless, but I can't even expect it. 
if I didn't extend it. So I'm not gonna be one standing here with a rock. It just ain't gonna be Kev. There's a lot of stuff I find funny. Now, if you're in my group chat, if you the you you lucky to be in my group chat, oh, you might know my thoughts. But that's just my wife, my brother, my very close friend. Now, my group chat, hey, oh, my group chat is lit. I say this all the time. You ain't who you are on social media, but you are who you are in that group chat. You may not cuss out loud, but you may cuss in the group chat. Nah, I can't add y'all to the group chat. No, that group chat is for, for tried and true friends who've been covered by grace. I'm telling you, the people in the group chat, I got a couple of them. I got me, Jay, Ant, and Ken. That's that's the man cave group chat. I can't even show Liz what goes on in the man cave. Okay? I got Liz and her sisters and my brother-in-law. That's the family group chat. And y'all really don't need to know more. I don't need y'all to know who's in, because then y'all gonna feel like y'all may need to be in, and y'all don't. Y'all ain't in the inner circle of the holy of holies. But listen, you may not cuss in real life, but you cuss in the group chat. Oh, I might not say, I might not say nothing or say something. Did you see the, the screenshot? If you clicked on my phone within a group chat and sent details, you'd see. Oh, you'd see what goes on in the group chat. So that's really what it boils down to, guys. I'm not, I'm not going to be that guy. I may, I may need that same grace one day because I don't know what my life has for me later on in the life. My brother sent a picture in our group in our one of our family group chats and an esteemed deacon in our family uh uh had a had a had been had a baby for a while. Had a baby for years. Oh esteemed and I was I was taken aback. I said oh 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 really but I'm never gonna post about it. It's just for the group chat. I don't, y'all didn't even need to know what would be going on. Y'all don't need to know what I think. How many of y'all done text the wrong person on accident something that was meant for somebody else? Hey man, I'm not the only one. I was texting my wife one time. I was away from her. Zay Zay was doing uh, Little Rascals and, and Melissa and Georgia were in Washington. And I was texting my wife and I was texting my homegirl at the same time. One about business and one about marriage ministry, huh? I say one was about business and one was about marriage ministry, huh? amen? And that marriage ministry, that's all I was really focusing on. I was on that marriage ministry. I said, oh, Liz, but what about this? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. One was about marriage ministry and one was about business. And I made the mistake. Oh, I made the mistake in my haste and i feel like the devil switched my text out of order but uh i made the mistake of trying to send a marriage ministry oh yes i did and my homegirl i my my thumb was fat and i had to hit my homegirl's name and i was bop 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 list sin and i saw that blue line soon as it went through my homegirl's name popped back up Boy, if you ain't never been shot in your chest, <coughs> I was in slow motion. No, actually, that isn't what, even what happened. I forgot. In this particular situation, I sent it to Liz. Bow. Put the phone down. Wait for Liz to come back. I'm like, man, you know when you send that one text that you need a quick response because you don't know if you passed the line or not, huh? You don't know if you passed the line or not. I sent that text and my homegirl responded, huh? And I was like, what she mean, huh? And then I saw my last same message. I was like, You talk about embarrassment. Woo! I had to tell Liz immediately, Liz, I, I didn't, I, it was for you, baby girl. It was for you, baby girl. It was for you. 
Luckily, my homegirl been my homegirl for years at that point. She was like, racial slur? I know that was for Liz. So why would I talk about Leandra when I've needed the same grace? I have needed the same grace and I may need the grace again, y'all. So no, I may need the grace again. I'm not going to pick up no rock and throw it at my sister. I just won't. I just won't. And we be just killing our people, man. We kill them. We kill them. We kill our people. And I'm just, ne I'm never really one to pile on. It's just not my nature. I'm not going to pile on. I'm never just going to pile on and be like, oh, yep. Yeah. Because you know what? I, bro, the internet be cruel and we be sending stuff and posting statuses and jumping in comments like our lives are clean. And there we go. But she shouldn't be in a position of leadership. True as that may be. Is your whole life clean? Is your whole life clean? Well, she's a pastor. Yes, she is. And she carries a heavier burden. Is your whole life clean though? Okay? We love to say, well, she, no, but if she wasn't, well, she shouldn't, well, they shouldn't. Where do you stand though? How does destroying her on social media help lift her up? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. I don't like to bring up the obvious. What's the obvious? Y'all just don't know my life. Y'all know the, per the person I, pre I, I present on social media. But y'all don't know my life. Y'all don't know my sins. Y'all don't know my mess up. I tell you about stuff in the past that happened years ago. I don't tell you about the stuff I messed up last week on. I don't tell you. Huh? I was a youth pastor messing up. We, 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 we assume that because a person is a pastor that they are immune to temptation. That they don't, that, well, bush. are they supposed to be better able to deal with temptation because they're a pastor? Are they? Because they have the burden of spreading the gospel, does that make them more equipped to deal with life's temptations? I think they just have a bigger microscope on their lives than we do. And we need to thank God. Listen, man, I thank God that when I was yet in sin, social media didn't exist like it does. That's what I thank God for. By the grace of God, when I was running through the six with my hoes, and I got to say it how, how it is so y'all know I was out here whoring in the streets. Whoring. And I thank God there wasn't no MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, no screenshots, no DMs to be nuked, leaked. I thank God. Wasn't no cameras because the only difference between me and somebody now is the, the internet was just... You couldn't send no nude. You would have sent a nude in 1999. It wouldn't have downloaded until I was 35 years old. Thank God there wasn't no Facebook, no screenshot, because I was out here living wrong, climbing in windows in the daytime in my pastor's neighborhood. Huh? Wasn't no baller alert, shade room coming, creeping. TMZ, my sin was done in the dark. I'm just thanking God that I was not exposed for who I was. Huh? Y'all think because I'm a family man now, I've always been a family man. I had a pregnancy scare with an ugly girl. I can't even think. I didn't even have the grace of a beautiful pregnancy scare. I was scared that she was pregnant. I was scared that the baby was going to come out looking like a Buick Skylark. I was afraid. Huh? I didn't say I had pretty women. I just said I was out there whoring. I didn't say who with. Huh? I was nervous. I was 15. The baby was guaranteed ugly. Guaranteed ugly. Baby was going to look like a mailbox. So I thank God for grace. He covered me. 
And that's why I won't do it. And y'all do what y'all do. Y'all can, well, she is a woman of God. And she is a pious And she's got to uphold the cross. Everybody got to carry their cross daily, including me. People fall. People get back up. Huh? We die daily. And I'm just not going to be the one who's going to act like my doo doo don't stink. It is awful. My, I, I got spider webs in my closet, spiders, roaches. I got problems. I got problems on top of each other. I can't get no help from my sister or my brother. Somebody told me, you know just what to do. So I'm giving all of my, listen, man, my wife about the only one who knows it all. My wife about the only one and Jesus about the only one that know it all. My brother knows a lot. You don't know it all, J. Jason. Oh, you don't know it all. So I'm trying to tell y'all, man, if you want to be on the bandwagon and jumping on and I be thinking, man, our church turns into Pharisees and Sadducees and we don't even realize it. We become the same religious law people that Jesus came to destroy. We are the living Pharisees and Sadducees who want to enforce the law without grace. With no grace. And we don't even have the decency to live to the law that we want to uphold for other people. We are the greatest judges of other people and the best lawyers for ourselves. You got the unmitigated gall to scream from the mountaintops, Holy Andrea, and let somebody find out what you do. Pharisee and sad you see. We want to destroy our people, man. We used to be in church destroying somebody for wearing pants when they wanted to sing. We destroyed them so much for wearing pants that they left the church altogether when really does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? We got the plank in our own eye. Look at that speck in your eye. Oh, you got a speck of sin in your eye. How dare you be up on the choir with that speck of the strand? And let somebody get into your email. Let somebody get into your text messages. You got a plank in your own eye. Pharisee, sad you see. Come on. The unmitigated God to act like we ain't out here slipping and dipping, sticking and licking. It's obvious we messing up, but everybody else's sin is so blatantly obvious to us. But our own mistakes, boy, we can't see those for nothing. I can't see my own wrongs for nothing. But look at you. Look at you doing that sin that's different than my sin. How dare you do a different sin? You got the, how, you got some nerve. You a musician and you're not doing the sin. I know my sin and I, I'm working on that. But your sin is different than mine. And look at you doing your sin differently than I do. We be gossiping under the guise of prayer. You need to pray for Sister Lisa. And I mean, let me tell you why. She be out here. I seen her at the club. What was you doing at the club? I was walking. Uh, that's neither here nor there. I seen her at the club. And she had a Mai Tai. You know we only supposed to drink wine. She had a Mai Tai. When I used to do stand-up comedy in regular clubs, I used to see church people out. And at this time, it was not cool to drink like I know people some people Christians drink and have no problem with that but at this time people wasn't teaching that in my life so I used to see people at the comedy clubs and they'd be like uh, 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 you know I'm just out here I'm here I'm in here too how am I gonna talk about you I, I'm about to perform well you know I'm just uh, 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 well, don't, I'm here you don't need I'm in here who, I'm not going to tell on you. I'm here. We're both here. Well, you know, I'm just, <laughs> you know, life being crazy. You don't got to explain yourself to me. I'm in here. I'm about to go up. I'm going up. I'm next. 
And somebody said we need the grace to correct and stuff. Go ahead, man. We need the grace to correct, but we don't be corrected in grace. We don't be corrected in grace. We be out here destroying. We be out here destroying without grace. Well, we need to correct. And the Bible says, and the Bible says, we ain't correcting in, in grace and love, though. That's not what we're doing. We are destroying. We out here killing our wounded. That's exactly right. We wounded, they wounded, but as long as I'm just a little less wounded than you, and it's human nature a little bit. We like to point out people's sin and, and bad part about their life so we feel better about the stuff we do. Well, at least I'm not doing that. Oh, I, I, I'm on Pornhub, but I'm not, I'm not having, I'm not fornicating. So at least I'm not fornicating. I'm just, you know, I please myself to the porn, but I'm not fornicating like her. She had a baby out of wedlock. I, I I just got a premium subscription to Pornhub. That's all I'd ever do. <laughs> I've just been on Pornhub. The Bible talks about a lie. A liar is going to have its special place in the lake of fire. And we lie all day. Lie all day. Like that ain't no sin. Destroying people with our tongue all day long. We don't. We spend more time correcting than we do loving. That's what I want to focus on. I focus on the love. I let God do the correction. That's what I'm going to do. You do you. I'm just saying what I'm going to do. If you want to feel, I'm going, well, I'm going to stand up for the truth and I'll scream it from the mountaintops and I'll shout it and I'll shout it and I'll shout it and I'll Well, I believe in righteousness and holiness is still right. And then when I was coming up, we didn't do this. That's all y'all sound off. That's all y'all sound like. Somebody rebuked me on YouTube and then denounced Christianity six weeks later and felt completely convicted when she rebuked me. Completely convicted. Just was right and I was just wrong in sin. Then she was like, I ain't no Christian no more. What? And that's what we do, bro. And that's, I'm just, uh, that's why I won't do it. You do you. This is what Kev won't do. Okay? Because I don't know what I might be in five years. I don't know. If my wife cheats on me, I'm liable to lose it. I don't know what I would do. I might be out here sticking and licking too. You might catch a screenshot of me and I'm gonna be like, can you please not share it on the Periscope? I'm gonna be seeking the Lord. I'm gonna be right at altar call and people gonna be like, no, but I stand for the law. I stand for grace and righteousness. <laughs> Extend the same grace that you may need now or you may need in the future. That's the whole point of all this. Huh? Huh? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying what she does is right or wrong or all that stuff. Listen, man. I'm saying we just love to blast people. But we don't want to get blasted. That's all. We love to blast, but we don't want to get blasted. We do the same thing that's blastable, but it always looks worse when somebody else does it, boy. Mm, always looks worse. Always looks worse. Grace doesn't equate to ignoring sin. I never said ignoring sin. Never said that. I never said ignore that sin. Never said that. I said we spend more time. Now, and see, that's exactly how we. That's exactly how we go down the path of Pharisee land. I'm not going to ignore sin. I stand for righteousness. Jesus came to do what was good, not what was right. When that woman was an adulterer and everybody stood around them and they said, the right thing under the law is to stone her. That's what the law says is right. Stone her. Jesus, are you going to uphold the law? Stone her. Stone her. That was the right thing to do. Jesus came to do what was good. The good thing was to do, okay, y'all so without sin, y'all throw the rocks. Go and sin no more. But the first thing he did before he told her to go and sin no more was he protected her with grace. 
We just say go and sin no more. We don't take the time to protect nobody with grace. We just say go and sin no more while we yet sin. So who are we to judge? Come to do what is good. Jesus came to do what is good. But you know what? A lot of y'all is going to do y'all anyway. This whole scope was to tell you why I don't do it. Y'all going to do y'all, and that's why this periscope exists. Because people are not, they going to think I'm wrong, and I'm going to stand for righteousness. <laughs> Go ahead. Enjoy that. You can have all the justification in the world to do what you want to do anyway. But don't expect nobody to come save you when you need it. That's what I'm saying. What's done in the dark gonna come to the light for you too. And don't be having nobody, well y'all put the grace, nope, nope, nope. Gra gra I'm grace to correct too when it comes to y'all. Just, just know, just know how you felt. Just know. I gotta go, I'm on the four or five. God bless you. God keep you. My DVD is available. Kevonstage.com slash DVD. We're the best judge of others and the best lawyers for ourselves. Grace and peace. Till we meet again.